Hi everyone, this is Nick, and one of my best viewed videos is on YouTube. It's a YouTube short, and it's about PowerPoint's AI-generated design ideas. So I thought I'd make a really quick video uh, here, just on my normal YouTube feed, um, about how to create these AI-generated designs in PowerPoint. It's a great you the great use for this would be if you need some design inspiration. You can open a completely clean new slide deck, click on the little button in the ribbon that says Design Ideas, and PowerPoint will generate a whole slew of different designs that you might be able to use and then you can kind of customize them from there so you don't have to just stick with the designs that PowerPoint gives you. So let's go over here to my PowerPoint slide. You can see I open a new slide and I just have this title here, Creative Design Ideas, AI Generated Slide Design in PowerPoint. So let's go and see what we can make with our AI generated designs. Go up here to the Home tab on the ribbon and then all the way at the end, you'll see this uh, button that says Design Ideas. Just go ahead and click on it and you will see on your right hand navigation bar there, there are so many different designs that you can sort of click on, you can click through. Some of them are even animated, so they already have some of these video backgrounds or animated uh, generated um, text boxes that will pop up on, on that title slide as well. You can just sort of click through them, see all of the different options that you have access to, some really cool and interesting designs that you can generate here on your own, some really colorful ones like this. And you can see that if you use PowerPoint's placeholders for text, so their titles, their subtitles, their content placeholders, that is how you uh, want to set up your slide so that the uh, AI generation can really use uh, or can really optimize or maximize the design that they create for you on your slides. If you don't like any of the designs that pop up here initially, all you need to do is click on more design ideas at the bottom and you will get a whole list of additional design ideas. Now what I'm going to do, I kind of like this splash uh, design right here. Now from here, you can go ahead and uh, edit the text if you'd like. You can go ahead and just increase the font size there as you like. You can. These are just text boxes, so you can create your own text boxes that way. The thing that you can't do is modify the background. So all of these slides are built in to the background. Sometimes you may be able to, there might be a shape or something like that uh, that pops up, but every once in a while there isn't. This whole image you can see is a kind of a picture here, and then the back of the slide is actually just this black, and then they have this sort of white grid paper paper um, swoosh right there. When you choose a design, if you go up to the new slide tab right here on the home ribbon, now your entire theme has sort of been built into your PowerPoint deck for you. So now I can, I have here this title slide, but I could go to a title and content slide. And now this is sort of the same theme that I have from my cover slide. You can see this really light background is this grid paper background in the title. They have this triangle right here. And then I want to use my text boxes here to populate uh, my design for my slide. So I could go up here to this new slide and you can see all the different uh, layouts that you have here in PowerPoint with this same theme. Now, I actually tried to, um, you know, just click the undo button a few times, and it actually doesn't bring me back to a clean, oh, it actually does bring me back to a clean side. It didn't when I first tried uh, this video. So you could just keep on undoing if you don't like those as well, and then go back to this design idea option, and then click through to see if any of the ones uh, might pop up that you like. Let's see this one. I'm going to go ahead, maybe I just need a content and a picture slide. You can see it has a very light gray background right here uh, as part of that design, and then maybe I can go in here and edit the text. You can also see that it uh, changes the fonts, uh, all the different different font families that you have access to in your slides as well. So again, all you need to do, let's click on back and see if it goes, yep, back to my clean slide. All you need to do is go to that home ribbon, go over here to design ideas under this designer menu right here. And once you click on that, it'll pop up all of the different designs that you have access to. Go ahead and give this a try for you. If anything, you know, it's always best to sort of create your own custom designs because you don't want other people to have access to those designs. Uh, but this can really give you some inspiration as to kind of the design or the slide layout that you might want to use in your next presentation. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for updates on data design, presentation design, Microsoft Excel, and PowerPoint. I'll give new tutorials every once in a while when inspiration strikes, I say, uh, but I do appreciate all the, subs all the subscribes. You'll get notified uh, every time I post a new video in that uh, category as well. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.